Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Sundays are my reset day. Today I have cleared the whole schedule that didn't have anything on it anyway. <laughs> and I'm gonna be cleaning my entire apartment today. I thought it'd be fun to bring you along because I've never had a whole place to take care of that's my own when I was living at home with my parents. My only slash main responsibility was my bedroom which was a tiny space and now i have a whole apartment this is your sign if you've been putting off cleaning your space your room your home your apartment this is your sign you can do it together hopefully this motivates you i have been watching cleaning vlogs all morning to motivate myself little update on my apartment i rearranged some things and by some things i literally mean one thing i moved my mirror that was over there and i put it next to the bookshelf i was reading the comments on my delivery day vlog and some of you were suggesting i do that so i thought i'd check it out and it looks really cute let me show you this is what it looks like i just realized that if i leave it here everything's gonna be backlit when i film which isn't the biggest deal in the world i just feel like it makes a little bit more sense for it to be right here possibly maybe versus right there. I got a lamp that I could put right there or I could leave the mirror there and put the lamp here. So I can switch it out. I'm just trying it out here for now. I really want to just find a flow to this apartment that works. So that's just gonna stay here for now. So on today's to-do list, I need to clean my bedroom, my bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, my second bedroom, and my second bathroom. Saying it out loud makes it feel a little more daunting, but I'm hoping to get it done. I'm gonna give myself the next few hours. I know that it's gonna be worth it because I just love starting the week off with a fresh and clean space. I feel like it leaves room for me to be creative, feel productive, just feel not cramped and cluttered. Honestly, the current state of my apartment is not that bad. It's not... <laughs> I do a pretty good job every day of keeping things pretty clean and tidy, but it's not often that I do a full deep clean and I just feel like things need to be deep cleaned. Let's start in the bathroom. Lovely lighting. Yes. I definitely need to clean my shower. I'm gonna throw the towels in the wash because they definitely need to be cleaned. I need to clean the toilet, floors, the sinks. I feel like for the most part, things are pretty organized. They're just not that clean because I've been putting it off. So we're gonna get cleaning. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We are pulling out the big guns. <laughs> We're gonna ride into it. severely glamorous. <laughs> the bathroom is done. We are now moving on to cleaning up my bedroom. There's honestly not too many things to do in here just because there's not that much stuff to take care of, but I definitely try to make it a priority once a week to change my linens so it's nice and fresh for the week. So that's what I'm gonna do first.
on my closet. My bedroom is clean, but on Sundays, I really try to get all of my laundry done. I don't know if that's a good thing to save it for one day of the week because literally this hamper fills up so much and it's completely full. So Sundays are definitely a big laundry day for me and it will take a really long time to do, but that's just what's been working out. So I save all of my laundry for Sundays. I just feel like during the week, I don't really have time nor do I want to put in all the effort. But like I said, Sundays are my designated cleaning day. So I feel like it kind of makes sense. Love that. Okay, everything is separated. We've got darks and lights. I don't have a room in the washer right now to do a wash. So I'm gonna vacuum my room. My bedroom is complete. That means we are one third of the way finished with my apartment cleaning for the day. It is almost afternoon, which means it's time for a little coffee break. We've got the coffee, cheers. I do indeed love New York. It's a great mug. So while I'm taking a little break, I thought I would tell you guys some of my biggest cleaning tips to help you guys out, whether you have your own place to take care of, even if you just have your own room to take care of. If you guys have been watching me since before I moved out, you would know that I've kind of had this whole reset thing down for a while now. And I did that purposely because I wanted to create good habits for myself because I knew I was moving out soon. And I was like, it's gonna be such a weird transition going from taking care of my little space to having to take care of a whole place. So. I'm gonna give you guys some of my biggest tips, just a few to go over. I wrote them down on my notes. Number one, clean as you go and constantly be cleaning. This might sound horrible. You might be like, why would I wanna be constantly cleaning? But I will say, if I, Monday through Saturday, did not clean anything, just left things messy, dirty, and I saved everything for Sunday, I would be losing my absolute mind right now. Not even gonna sugarcoat it. That would make me feel absolutely horrible. So every night I clean the kitchen, even if I'm super tired, even if it's late, the kitchen gets cleaned. I do not leave stuff in the sink. I don't leave food out or on the counter. I don't leave pans out. Never in all my years of childhood, 21 years of living at home, I've never seen my mom go one night without the kitchen looking amazing and clean and cleaned up from dinner. And as much as I used to laugh at that, now that I have my own place, it makes things so much easier because waking up to a mess in the morning would be absolutely horrible. So now when I wake up in the morning, I come into my kitchen and everything's clean. There's no remnants from the night before. So cleaning as you go is so helpful. Tackle one room at a time. I feel like that's what I did today. If I was just like, I have to clean my entire apartment. And I was kind of bouncing around between rooms. I would be very over Overwhelmed. So as you guys have seen I did my bathroom finished that so I could just check that off the list I feel like when you break things up into pieces It makes things a lot more doable even if you don't do it in one day if I were to stop cleaning right now I feel like I'd still feel accomplished and good because I know that my bedroom and my bathroom is clean put on some music put on a good podcast every time you see a time lapse i'm most definitely listening to music or to a podcast or a comfort show just because having that play in the background makes things so much easier i feel like if you're cleaning in silence are you okay and lastly you can pretend you're a housewife that's kind of what i've been doing and it's just kind of funny so those are some of my tips i definitely have more let me know if you have any cleaning tips comment them down below we should definitely get back to it Okay, I'm going to now tackle my living room. Honestly, there's not much to do in here other than vacuum. Living room is 
done. We can check that off the list. There wasn't much to do in here, so we're gonna do the kitchen now. For me, the kitchen is definitely what gets the messiest, and I feel it just constantly stays messy because I'm eating so much a day. Prior to this, I have never had to take care of my own kitchen. I would help out my mom with the kitchen at home obviously but i've never had to actually take care of a whole one by myself so that has definitely been interesting i don't hate it but i don't enjoy it i just enjoy the after I think these have definitely reached their end of their life. They are just like drooping. Is this ready? Is this dead? I can't tell. Maybe I'll just change the water. I'll let her sit for a few more days. The kitchen is clean. I don't know for how long till I make my next meal in like an hour, so. I am now two thirds done cleaning my entire apartment, which feels so, so good. I'm gonna speed through the rest just because I don't use the second bedroom or the second bathroom too much at the moment, so. My wash is done. There's really not too much to do in there. So we're gonna get it done super quickly. loads of laundry still going but for the most part my apartment is all clean for the week which I'm so happy about I am sitting in the spot that my couch should be in very very soon I will give a little couch update because I figured you guys might want to know I am using the ship to Hawaii service again which basically is for companies that don't ship to the islands which makes it so much harder for us here. There's a service that you can ship it to them and then they ship it here, so. I'm using them again. My couch will go right here facing the TV console. It should be here within a week and a half to two weeks. There will be a vlog. Trust me on that when that comes out, so. It hasn't been as inconvenient as one might think just because I have the dining chairs, which I mostly sit on all day. I was about to say I feel like I could go a little bit longer without it, but I'm just crossing my fingers that this couch arrives soon and arrives safely. And once the couch comes, I am pretty much donezo with furniture, which is so crazy. I will give a few apartment updates right now because as you might've noticed, I have made some changes since the last time you've seen 
the apartment. So I just uploaded my delivery day vlog today and so many of you have been giving such helpful feedback. So obviously none of this is really done yet just because I have no decorations. I still have to go shopping for them, but I did buy some books. I thought this was a cute way to display them for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything how it is right now. I just wanted to show you. I definitely wanna include some good color on this just because I feel like with all the wood tones, I definitely want some nice pops of color because I love, love color. These are all artist books and they're just so cool. I still have yet to look through them, but they're just so beautiful. I have a random candle right here. Obviously, there's lots to be done, but I just really thought that this little shelf was really cute. As I showed you earlier, I did move this here and I just saw a comment that was like, you should put vines around the mirror which I thought was so genius. And I had some vines in my room that I wasn't using, so I kind of framed it. And I think this looks so cute. I honestly might keep this here. The more I see it here, the more I love it. There really hasn't been many updates to the coffee table. I did buy some things today, which should be coming soon. So that'll be some nice decor to add to here in the bookshelf. I'm obsessed with this candle. It's from Appalachian Jewels. Check her out on Instagram. She's a small business. Her candles are so cute and they smell delicious. You guys have definitely seen this on Instagram by now, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't see. I finally got a nightstand. I have another one on the way that I originally thought I was gonna put one right here and one right here. What do you guys think? If I have a replica of this nightstand, would that look too much next to this? Or I was thinking with the other one that I'm getting that hasn't arrived yet, I could put it as a side table when my couch comes. I really, really love it. It's so cool. It's like fluted, I think is what it's called. And it's a little inconvenient that it doesn't have storage, but probably for the better. I feel like if there was storage, I would just find random crap to put. This is the book I'm reading right now. I finally started Reminders of Him. It's Colleen Hoover's new book. As for this side of my bedroom, nothing has really changed. I did decorate the top of my dresser. Still have to figure out what prints I'm gonna put here. I decided I don't want a mirror because I feel like feng shui wise, it's not good to have a mirror facing the bed. That's what I've heard, I don't really know. So I'm probably just gonna put some really nice prints, bring some more color into the room. And in this nook, I am so excited. I hope I can execute what I'm trying to do because I haven't seen too, too many people do it because it's not that common. I'm being so vague, but you will see. I'm gonna do a decorating video very soon. We'll figure that out later. As for office updates, I finally put some clothes on the clothing rack. It was empty for so long. I put some kind of springish pastel colors and I think it adds some really nice color to the room. I really wanna put something tall right here just cause next to my desk I have a lot of empty space. So maybe like a plant or something. I'm not allowed to have real plants in my apartment so maybe like a tall fake one. I have no idea yet. And then on this side of the office, I honestly avoid showing it because I don't know, I feel like the main action is like right here with my desk and all of this. The books are patiently waiting for me to put them in their rightful place on the bookshelf and elsewhere. I have my drying rack for my clothes that I use to air dry the things that need to be air dried. Those are all the apartment updates I have for right now. I feel like very soon I will have even more just because I placed a huge order on Etsy after reading all of your comments in my latest vlog because I asked for decor advice and all of you are coming through. Some of you are literally writing whole paragraphs on advice on how I should decorate things, which is so nice. I literally love you guys. I feel like you guys understand what I'm going for. Even though I've never verbalized it, I just feel like you guys understand what I want decor wise in this apartment. I am stoked because I have lots of things coming. I still need to do some decor shopping because I wanna to go to some local stores and get some cool stuff. But right now, since it's a Sunday, I definitely wanna start planning out my week. I like to do that on Sundays. This is from Lavender. It's the weekly reset planner and I love doing it because at the end of every week on a Sunday, you can do a weekly reflection, which I really enjoy doing. So I'm gonna do that. And now we are on a new week. I love the layout of this. Let me show you. You basically have a little weekly spread that is pretty customizable. There's a weekly goals box, self-care, a habit tracker. I love the little quote for each week. It's really fun to read. I've really been loving this. I've been using it maybe for three weeks now and I definitely really like it. This is almost painful for me to say out loud, but the moving vlogs are almost, I would say like, if they're not almost done, they're already done. That brings me a lot of pain and sadness, but also happiness because 
that just means that everything's coming together and the moving process is almost done which is so insane it literally felt like it was gonna last forever you guys have liked moving vlogs so much i had so much fun doing them and i feel like we got so close through them and it felt like you guys were here with me because i was uploading so often and interacting with you guys and commenting back and reading all of your sweet messages i don't know why i'm so emotional that the moving series is pretty much almost done i feel like once i get my couch and once i get my decor figured out she's done so i'm like after that i have officially run out of video ideas <laughs> moving content has consumed my entire social media presence for a while but i feel like it'll feel good to have some normal content once I'm more settled in and I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be really good. Now I'm gonna go have a little bit of a crisis about what my content's gonna look like after the moving series is done. Tell me why I have such a deep emotional attachment to my moving vlogs. Should I move again? Absolutely not. Hi everyone, I'm coming at you live. I have officially left my apartment for the day. I'm going to the one place I swear I unintentionally end up at every day. Maybe it's not unintentional. Maybe I do it on purpose because it gives me a little excitement in life and a purpose to leave the house. I am at Target. The caffeine is definitely kicking in. It's only taken an hour, but I just feel like I have so much energy right now. So long story short, I made a mobile order last night. So all I have to do is just go and pick it up and it should all be ready for me. I am so excited. Okay, I just backed into a stall and I can't open my trunk. So, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Target run was a success. We're doing a quick little Target grocery haul. I got a few things and most of it was, I got the tropical fruit blend, mango chunks, peach slices, pineapple chunks, and banana slices. Basically just some mixed assorted fruit because I made my first green juice the other day and I asked you guys on Instagram what other ingredients I can add to my green juices because it tasted a little too green and I needed some like extra flavor and sweetness. A lot of you said pineapple and mango so I'm very excited about this. While we're on the topic of green juices, I will show you what else I got for them. So many of you said add orange juice. So I listened, I got some orange juice. I got a few comments that said some vanilla yogurt. I don't know if they said vanilla. I definitely saw yogurt, so I just got some vanilla Greek yogurt. And I got a ton of answers that said to add some coconut water. Hoping that all of this makes my green smoothie experiences a little better because I am really trying to get some vegetables into my diet in a way that I enjoy. So thank you to everyone who recommended all these things that I get. I'm so excited. I screenshotted so many of your recipes that you guys sent me, so I really appreciate that. I needed some bread because I just ran it out. I needed a refill for my toothbrush. It's like the toothbrush head. And then I also picked up two photo frames. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but I think I wanna put it on my bookshelf. Okay, this was definitely the move. I'm so glad I got these. I wanted two. I don't know if this is where I'm gonna put it yet but I just need to get some photos in there that'll add some nice color, some personalization. And then the ottoman that I got, I just put in this corner because I don't really know what I'm doing with this corner of my room yet. I might end up putting this as a little chair next to my couch, but I don't know how that's gonna look, so it's just in here for now. I'm actually about to run out again because I am picking up a TV today. And suddenly I have a TV. I feel like this just made everything feel a lot more legit. Everything's coming together. Oh, listen to that. Long ways, right? Yeah. Okay, please don't hurt yourself. I won't. I know. I just I'm just. i recently something. recovering. I'm not going to show you close up. My mom is now cutting my bread for me. Nia dropped it off. So sweet. She dropped off a sourdough and a olive sourdough, which is so, so sweet. And now I've commissioned my mother to cut it for me because I am horrified of this knife. Lots of bad memories. wholesome Sunday night. I cooked dinner for my parents. We got the TV up, which I'm so happy about. I watched Gossip Girl for a little bit, but I'm going to read now. I've really been trying to limit screen time right before I go to bed. So reading is perfect for that. I will update 
all of you as I read more. I've heard amazing things. Like I said, this is her new book, so I'm excited. I only have read two chapters so far, but I think I'm gonna read a lot tonight. This coming week, I am going to vlog every day and do a fun weekly vlog, which I haven't done in so long, so I think you guys will really like that. If you stay to this point in the video, comment down below the birthday cake emoji because that's what I'm craving right now, so. Thank you for watching. I honestly didn't expect to really vlog the rest of my day. I thought this was gonna be a cleaning vlog, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope it inspired you, motivated you, entertained all of the things. Good night. Adios.